They said the truth won't survive beside the lies that maintain the decaying faces of this place. Hey everybody, what's up? This is uh, Hold the Truth Hostage, where if the truth was so important, we would hold it hostage and not negotiate with lies. What's up? I just want to start off by saying I want to thank everybody for watching the channel, you know, and I want to thank everybody for um, showing a lot of support, you know, channel's gone from um, started off. I started off like I think it was about, what was it, 20 days or something, you know, over 30 days ago, I had like five subscribers. It isn't even really about the subscriber count. You know, when I started this, I got a message from, um, I got a message from uh, C, from, um, you know, from C.1. You know, he told me to give this a shot. You know, I want to give a special thanks to C.1. You know what I mean? It's not that I never had any thoughts about adding um material to the manosphere is just that you know i was just lurking just watching and then c.1 confirmed and told me you know you gotta give this a try you know and uh you know put something out so you know i want to thank c.1 you know personally much much respect you know the reason i hide the reason i hide the subscriber count is that you know my honest opinion I just want you to judge me off the the videos rather than the subscription numbers. Also, you know, it's a way to also conceal that number. So people trying to attack the channel or, you know, things like that could be eliminated. But now let's let's start off on what this um you know this episode is about, you know. This episode is about something, something very important. And what's important is existence over purpose. Now, a lot of guys in the manosphere always talk about purpose. You know, you know, what's your purpose in life? You know, I follow a lot of people that speak about purpose um, from Coach Greg Adams to Anthony Spade to uh, Donovan Sharp, to AMS, to, um, you know, the Hammerhead, to RPM, to, um, you know, I follow a lot of channels to um, Better Bachelor. I follow a lot of channels where they speak about purpose. You know, purpose is important, but in all honesty, purpose is secondary to potentially, yeah, purpose is secondary to your existence. Existence is priority. Now, what I'm gonna tell you to do with this video, I'm gonna need you to share this video. I'm gonna need you to share it with your friends, share it with your family, that this video is gonna probably be one of the most important videos in your life. You know, and I, I don't take saying that lightly. I'm being a hundred percent honest, and I'm I'm gonna explain to you why. Because because you know a lot of people talk about purpose and all that, but but in all honesty, I'm gonna tell you this: purpose compared to existence is weakness, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna start off by showing you why. Now check this out. You know. Check, check this out right here. You see, I'm going to play this video. Now, now look at this video. This video is of a cow. It's, it's of cows eating. Now, now what do you see on this video? These cows are just eating. That's what, that's what it is to the naked eye. It's just cows eating. But no, what you need to notice is notice that cow isn't happy. That cow isn't sad. That cow isn't angry. That cow isn't worried about none of those things. That cow is worried about the only thing that matters in life is existence. You know what I'm saying? Existence has to be your priority. 
the biggest victory, the the biggest victory the government and the machine got against men is that they got men to look away from existence. You see, though, these cows are just eating their grass. They're just existing. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't matter about sadness, happiness. You know what I mean? I, I've come to the realization that sadness and happiness, in all honesty, a lot of those emotions are, are an aspect of weakness because you have to keep refueling that happiness. You got to keep searching for happiness. You got to keep searching for sad, you know, you, you get sad and all, all these levels of emotion. And, and this is coming for me as a person who's dealt with uh, levels of emotion. You know, I'm going to tell you this emotion when it comes to happiness and sadness, those are all aspects of weakness. The reason I'm saying that is look at these cows. They're just eating. They're just existing. You know what I mean? Now, now what comes before happiness and sadness it comes happiness and sadness you can live without them these these cows right here are the example of you could live without happiness and sadness they're just existing you know what you can't live without breathing you can't live without breathing you know these these are the fundamentals of life you know breathing eating shelter safety these are the priorities in life. And I'm, I'm going to give you another example. You know, check this. But notice these cavemen. What, what are they worried about? Are they worried about being happy? Are they worried about being sad? You know, they, these are uh, constant states of emotion. You got to keep refilling. You know what they're worried about? They're worried about survival. They're worried about existing. You know, the biggest thing, all the ads and all the advertisement got, they got you to look away from existing. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the biggest thing in life. The number one rule in life above purpose and all that is, is existence. If you're not focused on your existence and the, and the threat to your existence, then, then you're setting yourself up for failure. You're setting yourself up for other people to take advantage of you. You're setting yourself up for your own destruction. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to ask you this, you know, can you live a day without, without happiness? Can you live a day without sadness? Yes, you can. But you know what you can't live without? You can't live without breathing. You can't live without eating for a certain amount of time. You can't live without drinking water for a certain amount of time. Notice, notice what I keep pinpointing. I keep, I'm talking about existence. You know what I mean? That has to be the priority in your life. It's existence. I mean, look, look at these, uh, you know, Aboriginal men. You know what I mean? They're, they're preparing a heavy boomerang. Are they, are they worried about happiness? Are they worried about the latest tech? Are they worried about, you know, what, uh, other people are worried about worried about impressing anyone no they're focused on what comes before everything your existence if you're not focused on your existence none of that stuff matters i'm, I'm gonna tell y'all something and you you could quote it purpose is a luxury you know what i'm saying a, a man who can focus on purpose is uh that means their existence is already handled. They're not worried about their existence. They're not worried about the shelter, food, and so on. But if you put purpose above your existence, you're setting yourself up for failure. And, 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 and they, like I said, this is going to be the most important video in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because because this video focuses on a lost art, a lost truth. That is that your priority has to be existence. Now I'm going to show you why purpose is is uh, in actuality purpose is weakness. Uh, let me show you. Check out this check out this image. You see this image right here? It's an image of a man in the, you know, holding a phone from the 80s. You know what I'm saying? It's a big bulky phone from the 80s. Now if this man, you know, 
in his day, if, you know, in the 80s, you would be what? An alpha male. If you had a cell phone and cell phones when they first came out cost, what, over 20 grand or something like that? You would be an alpha male with that, right? But bring this, bring this large phone in, in today's date. What is that? You know, that phone, you would be clowned. You would be laughed at because that phone is obsolete. You know what I'm saying? In fact, let me let me look up the sidekick phone. You know, this, this phone was, was big in the 2000s. You know what I'm saying? Check, check this out. If you, if you had this phone today, what, what, what would you be called? If this was your main phone, you'd be obsolete. You have old technology that's outdated. You know what I mean? It, it, this is what purpose is about. Purpose is about you focusing on what will define your current level of success at that moment. This person who had the sidekick in the early 2000s, you know what I'm saying? He, he was he was about his purpose. You know what I'm saying? He was ahead of the ball. He, you know, if he's the first and one of the few people with the sidekick, he's he's the alpha male. He's the successful person. In fact, let, let's look at a 90s BMW. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at that. You know what I mean? If someone's driving a 90s BMW right now, are, are they ahead of the curve? Are they the current successful person you know what i mean all these old cars no they're outdated you you have to understand in life the only thing that doesn't get outdated is your existence your your existence has to be priority cuz cuz guess what you know what i'm saying you you could you could let me let me put that 90s bmw car crash you know what I'm saying? Check check this out. You know, this is a car crash of a BMW cars. These are things that can be replaced. Not only can they be replaced, they can make another car. This car will be obsolete in a few years. This this is what when they promote you'll know, be about your purpose. Your purpose is to be obsolete. A man, for example, what was it? One of the big fashions was um, let's search it right now. You know, one of the one of the big fashions not too long ago was American Eagle. You know what I'm saying? American Eagle uh clothing. You know what I'm saying? American Eagle. American Eagle was, was the thing, man. It was the big shot clothing brand. You know what I'm saying? Then out of nowhere it became let's say true true uh religion clothing, you know? True religion clothing, you know, the pants, the jeans, the, the, you know, let me put the true religion shirt, it's, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's the most recognizable thing, you know, look at that logo, true religion, in fact, that, that's my favorite brand, true religion, I plan to make a video on true religion, because true religion, in all honesty, represents the definition of a man about his purpose a man about his purpose is a man that's focusing on the top trends and something that will become obsolete it will become replaceable eventually you know another thing another thing they speak about you know in the manosphere is you got to get a house you know let's look up let's look at a house you know let's look at a house you know what I'm saying? Look, look at this house. Look at that house. Look at this house. You know what I'm saying? This this is what they say is about your purpose. You, you want to know what a house is? A house is, back in the 1920s and 1800s and early 1900s, people would move into cities and all that because they were better developed. You know what I'm saying? The only reason a lot of people lived in houses and searched them out was that it was a sign that the town or city was developed. You know what I'm saying? Or or they were looking for apartments. You know what I'm saying? I say apartments 1940s for, you know, for a reason. You know what I'm saying? 1940s. 
apartments. You know what I mean? People were people went to live in the city because you know a house was a sign that the place was developed. You as a man, you have to understand. Now, if you're not having a family or nothing like that, a house is nothing more than a trap. It's it's you staying somewhere. For example, let's say you live you live in uh Washington D.C. You live in Washington D.C. You got a house, but you get a greater opportunity in in um let's say you get a bigger opportunity in Florida. Now you're trapped in this house. You know how you gonna sell this house? How soon you gonna sell this house to to move to Florida? When this opportunity is given you, and it's a life-altering opportunity, you know, but you, you're you trapped and you're loyal to this house. You know what I'm saying? The number one, uh, number one priority in life has to be, you know what I'm saying? It has to be, it has to be existence, you know? And I'm, I'm going to tell you something else, you know what I'm saying? It, this is a big trap. You know, the, the, the biggest trap is that when you, you don't focus on your existence, you know. Let me show you something. Let's see. Let's look up cancer. Cancer, uh, hosp you know, cancer treatment. Treatment price. You know what I'm saying? Let's look up the cancer treatment price. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I can't find exactly what I'm looking for, but the reason I bring up a uh, cancer treatment price is that let's say you let's say you buy a house. Let's say you buy a house for a hundred and fifty grand. You know what I'm saying? You buy a house for a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You know, you buy a brand new house, but you know, you, you just get cancer. You just got cancer and it's going to cost you, you know, about 60 to 80 grand for you to survive and beat that cancer. You invested most of your money into that house, something that can be obsolete. I mean, look, look at this house, you know what I'm saying, in the, or apartment in the 40s and all that. That apartment had to be updated. That apartment went out of style. That apartment went out of fashion. So in actuality, when you're investing in all these houses and all that stuff, you're investing in trapping yourself. Because think about it. if you're paying a hundred and fifty grand, like let's just say, you know, I know the price ain't right. Like let's let's put it at five hundred thousand you paid for your house. But but the cancer treatment is uh two hundred and fifty thousand. You know what I'm saying? The, the bone marrow treatment is 250,000. The problem a lot of people do when it's when this it's all about you gotta be about your purpose. Purpose comes with liabilities. You know what I'm saying? Purpose comes with liabilities. You know? But uh but but look at these look at these um cows on this video. What liability they got besides eating and existing? I know you're going to say someone's taking care of them and all that stuff. But the, your priority in life has to be existence. You know what I'm saying? You, you're, you're looking to buy the nicest house and all that stuff. You're looking to trap yourself in that current location. You know what I'm saying? That house will become obsolete. That house will need updates. That house will need upgrades. And that house can be replaced. But you... Your existence, once that's over, you're done. Once you die, it's done. So you live in your whole life on a on a you know on purpose and all that. That's you setting yourself up for failure. You know what I mean? The truth is you have to live to maintain your existence. And you know what existence is about? Existence is about adapting and not having any liabilities. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to show you a scene um, from the movie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's an Al Pacino movie. Uh, leave it in 30 seconds. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is probably the greatest line in uh, 
You know, it's not it's not just a line in a movie. It's just like a line of life. And, and you know, in this this line right here is a line. You know, I mean, uh, respect this line. This is a line that shows you life. Check it out. Guy told me one time. Don't let yourself get attached to anything. You are not willing to walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you feel the heat around the corner. Don't let yourself get attached to anything. You are not willing to walk out on in 30 seconds flat. If you, you see what he said? You got to be able to leave everything, you know what I'm saying, within 30 seconds. 30 seconds or less, you have to be able to leave it. That That's to maintain your existence. When it comes to existing in this world where, where we only get we only get um you know what i'm saying we we only get a one time to exist you know what i'm saying we we don't get other moments of existence so so when it comes to prioritizing something in your life you have to prioritize your existence once you prioritize your existence you don't have stuff you know purpose is all about getting liabilities you know I, I i'm about my purpose so i got a nice car i got a bigger house i got this i got that i got everything that's a liability that i can't leave at a moment's you know what i mean at a moment you know what i'm saying 30 seconds or less you know what i mean that is what existence is about you as a man especially with how the law is, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a, I created a, you know, I got inspired by coach, you know what I'm saying? Just, just in case, I know a lot of people uh, know the coach, but uh, just, just in case, uh, altering you know, it, you know what I'm saying? Like I was saying, uh, coach, uh, coach Greg Adams, you know, big, uh, big inspiration, coach Greg Adams, you know what I'm saying? And to me, he wrote the, like I was saying, he wrote the, um, free agent lifestyle you know what i'm saying i would say it's a it's a must read for you know a lot of men must read now while reading it you know it inspired me to come up with the live by the one strike rule you got to live by the one strike rule the reason the reason i say you have to live you have to live by uh you know what i'm saying live by one strike the reason I say that is because you do, you have to live by one strike. You, as soon as you're born, you know what I'm saying? As soon as you're born as a man, you know what I'm saying? As soon as you're born, you're born into, uh, into a level of suffering. You know what I'm saying? You're born into a level of disrespect. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you're born, what do they do? They, uh, they circumcise you. You don't. You don't even get a choice. You know what I'm saying. You. You don't even get a warning or nothing like that. As soon as you're born, they circumcise you. You know what I'm saying. No. No warnings. No. No asking. None of that. You, you get. You get that. You know what I'm saying. It ain't a mandatory thing, but it's a way for the world to. As soon as you come from the womb. To dominate over you you know what i'm saying that, that, that that's what that does now if it's for religious reasons i understand that you know it's part of part of your religion so you know they they, they circumcise you whatever you know what i'm saying I, I understand that aspect but other than that a lot of times when it's done and if it ain't for religious reasons um yeah, yeah if it ain't for religious reasons it's just for them to, uh, you know, quickly dominate over you. You know what I'm saying? But like I like, but let me get back. Like I was saying, I wrote, uh, I came up with the, with the, um, the one strike, the one strike. You got to live by one strike because you, you do, you know what I mean? You only get as a man, you only get one strike. You know what I'm saying? One, uh, one one uh be it false accusation be it this be it that you know wrong location wrong time you're you're done you know now a lot of other guys who 
will do the um who do the whole uh a lot of guys who do the whole MGTOW thing or red pill thing, they'll talk to you about life like you got multiple opportunities. The way I speak about it, you, you only have one. You only have one strike. It, it could all end in one strike and you have to live your life focused on your existence. When you focus on your existence, you understand I only have I only have I only get to exist once. You know what I mean? That that's what's confirmed. I'm not talking about um you know being reborn and all that stuff. I'm talking about you only get one chance to exist, you know. So with that with, with knowing you only get one chance to exist, you have to look at things and then you look at how the law look at how the law treats you and all that. You know what I mean? You have to take it to that perspective. You know you're being mistreated and hunted. You know, I, I tell a lot of guys, you're born, when you're born as a man, the way the the system set up with all the biases, you're born a target. You know what I'm saying? You're born a target. How, how, how can we get this kid on, uh, you know what I'm saying? How can we get this kid on meds? You know, he's toxic, masculinity, all this and that. You're born a target. The reason I tell you to live by one strike, it's because, you know, some other people, like I said, other channels and some other people tell you got multiple opportunities. The reason they tell you you have multiple opportunities is that you, you'll come back to them. It's to train you that, oh, man, I messed up. You know what I'm saying? I messed up once. Let me let me come back. I got another chance. In reality, every time you take another chance, you're creating an opportunity to lose your existence. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know, above purpose is existence. Purpose is a luxury, not a necessity. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I was showing... Uh, you know, I mean, I, I could show, you know, I, I, let me show you these, uh, you know, like I was like I was showing nothing matters more than their existence, you know, hunting, eating, you know, what I'm saying that those that's the priority, you know, what I'm saying or the, you know, the cows, it's eating. You have to understand that you only get to exist. You only get to exist once you know now if you you wanna you wanna go chasing uh chasing trends by all means do that but you have to understand those those trends you know true religion is replaceable the true religion shirt you know what i'm saying it's a trend it's it's it can be replaced and it can be reprinted recreated but you you only get to exist once so you, you have to place your existence as priority. You know what I'm saying? Everything else before your existence is secondary to, or luxury. If it doesn't have to do with you eating, you know what I'm saying? Shelter, your protection, your safety, your survival, it's a luxury. I'm not, I'm not saying you don't, you don't, you know what I mean? You don't live. But you have to understand, just just like they said in uh, let me put it, you know, just like they said in um, heat, you know what I'm saying? You know, heat, uh, you know, it's just like he said uh, in heat, man. I mean, listen to this line. I'll play it over again. Let me get this ad out of the way. Uh, man, yeah, but like I said, with heat, a lot of people look at heat. He was talking about crime and stuff. No, he's talking about, he was talking about life. When it comes to your existence, you can't have anything. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, e even if you have a family and all that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if the law was uh, righteous and moral. 
you had a family and all that stuff. Your existence is still based on, and let, let me put this on. Remember Jimmy McElwain on the yard used to say, you want to be making moves on the street, have no attachments, allow nothing to be in your life that you cannot walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you spot the heat around the corner. Remember that? Remember Jimmy McElwain on the yard used to say, you want to be making moves on the street, have no attachments, allow nothing to be in your life that you cannot walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you spot the heat. See that, 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 what he said right there, that's about life. That's about your existence. When it comes to your existence, you have to be able to not have any liabilities. And you know, the way the, the way the legal system is here, as a man, there's a lot of liabilities, things you, things that if you chase, it's, you know, that's a trend. Like, like I said, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said with uh, the 80s, you know what I'm saying? The 80s cell phone, you know, you know what I mean? Look, look at this phone, look at these phones, you know what I'm saying? They were chasing, they're about their purpose. Their purpose was about a trend. You know what I mean? You buy that, you live for it, you keep up with the latest things, but you have to understand everything is replaceable except your existence. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm I'm gonna leave it at that. You know, I plan to I plan to make some other videos that go into uh, other details in life. But the truth is you have to understand, you have to have existence over purpose. Because once you have existence, everything is clear. Once you understand I'm chasing happiness, you know, I'm sad, I'm chasing love, I'm chasing everything that can be, you know, that I don't, I don't need to exist, you know what I'm saying? I got a friend of mine, you know, uh, I spoke to a man, the dude doesn't, you know, as I spoke to him, he's, he's one of, he's a master of existence, man. The man doesn't let emotion or a lot of things get in his way. He's focused on existing, you know what I'm saying? That's his priority in life and you, that's gotta be your priority, your priority has to be your existence. A lot of stuff they push on you. I'm not saying you don't get a nice car or stuff like that, but you have to get it with the thought that you can in 30 seconds or less leave it behind. As in you shouldn't own anything that is, you know what I'm saying? I'd say you could own, you know, uh, one thing I'm a firm believer in you know what I'm saying? I'd say you could own a, you know, a R, RV. You know what I'm saying? To me, an RV makes sense. It's mobile. You know what I mean? You could travel with it. You know, that, that, that I believe you could own. You could own an RV. You know what I'm saying? An RV, you, it's mobile. You're, you're always moving and adapting with an RV. You know what I mean? You can always rent a house with Airbnb and so on. But anything that is stationary, you know, like a house or anything like that, anything that doesn't allow you to be mobile, you shouldn't fully invest in. Because when an opportunity comes, you, you gotta lift your house and move with it. You, you can't, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, this has been, you know what I mean? So. This has been hold the truth hostage, where if the truth was so important, we wouldn't negotiate with lies. Y'all need to be about your existence. Purpose is secondary. You know what I'm saying? Purpose is secondary and, and purpose is a luxury because the, the definition of purpose changes. You know what I'm saying? Someone's purpose in the 50s ain't the same as someone's purpose in the 60s. Someone's purpose in the 70s. Someone's purpose in the 80s. Someone's purpose in the 90s. Someone's purpose in the 2000s. Someone's purpose in the 2010s. Someone's purpose in the 2020s. 
purpose is always changing and it's always, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's either becoming obsolete or, or inferior purpose is always changing, but you know, what always stays the same, your existence, you only have one existence and you have to, you know what I'm saying? Focus your life around your existence because you only get one of those, you know what I'm saying? That, that purpose is constantly shifting, but you need in a breathe. You need in a breathe that, you know what I'm saying? Whether you were in the 1920s to 2020s, you still need to breathe. But but you needing to um, ride a horse in the 2020s, you don't need to ride a horse. Notice that purpose changes. Purpose changes with the times and what's available. But your existence, it remains the same. You got to breathe, you got to eat, you got to have shelter, blah, blah, blah. You know, what you need to do in your existence, it never changes. You know what I mean? Purpose and all that. The definition of purpose constantly changes. You know what I'm saying? Like, in you know, in 2020, you, have, you being about your purpose is you having your own car and you having your own house and all that stuff. But in 20. 30 you you being about your purposes you having a a hover car or self driving car notice the purpose changes but guess what that never guess what won't change in the 1930s i mean in the 2030s and 2040s you needing to breathe you having one existence that doesn't change all right man hope hope this helped y'all out y'all y'all be safe this has been hold the truth hostage where if the truth was so important you wouldn't negotiate with lies hold the truth hostage they said the truth won't survive beside the lies that maintain the decaying faces of